What up, world? I'm Steve, founder and CEO of CryptoCrewUniversity.com, home of the number one crypto classes. This is where we keep crypto simple. Today, another exciting video. Why Bitcoin's next major move could be both surprising and terrifying. If you're new here, join the movement, hit that subscribe button right now, and everybody hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate you. It's great to see you. First, we're going to start off with a tweet. This is coming in from Dan the Man. Dan says, quote, Steve, you have the top crypto classes around, worth every penny invested. If you can't invest long-term in your education, then you won't be successful in trading. Being a part of the crypto crew makes it so much less stressful. Guys, if you have been stressed out looking at your phone, not knowing when to buy and when to sell, and, and honestly, just looking at your phone all day for the prices of crypto, you better make a change home of the number one crypto classes, control that emotion, get incredibly confident and know exactly when to buy and when to sell. If you've been in crypto around one year, you're gonna sign up to this combo class. It'll be the very first link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video right here. If you've been in crypto just a few months, you're gonna sign up to this combo class. It'll be the second link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video right here. Honestly, these classes are going to change your life incredibly powerful. Get rid of all that unwanted stress and get that confidence and clarity to know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell. This video jam packed with information. Let's recap where we've been the last couple months. You guys know, three-day death cross, we called this out well before it happened. We said large spike down. We called this rally the largest rally in months, and we said we were going to roll over and create a lower low. We had a check mark there as well, and then we had a legendary move coming. We split it into three parts. The first part was a rally up to the 50-day check mark. Then we said we're going to be rejected down to our 618 FIB level, check mark. Then we said there would be a continued rally through the 50 day, check mark. And by the way, it's been several months since we've been above the 50 day like this. Now, in the last video, we called for three really important things. Number one, there was an ascending triangle formation. Number two, watch the stochastic RSI. And number three, pay attention to what we previously did in 2014. So we know that the ascending triangle broke to the downside. But how could we have known that was happening? In the last video, we said in the short term, always watch like a hawk the stochastics rsi if you see a cross down especially across through the 80 be aware and when we made the video there wasn't a cross yet but we warned of it and we said this is always going to indicate price action and i think five six hours after we released the video there was a cross through the 80 and we know what happened after that but the bigger question is is this a concern? Have we broken our structure? Are we still looking for a move a little higher? Or are we gonna be looking to break this $3,000 level? So let's break those questions down and first and foremost, just take a nice deep breath, everybody, and, and cool, calm, relaxed. These moves are nothing to be concerned about and we'll break it down, but there is something that we're gonna be a little bit terrifying. It's gonna be a really intense experience uh, coming up. So we're gonna break those moves down. But first, I want to address market manipulation. There was all sorts of sheep yelling, oh my God, market manipulation, oh the whales. It's the same sheep that were calling for us never to break 6K, the same people that were calling for the ETF, the same people that were calling Bach, the same people that were saying Chinese New Year is gonna be a big thing and, and the tax season and all these reasons why we're gonna to go to the moon. But let's keep it honest. Market manipulation, we've talked about it on many, many videos. I'll break it down in a simple way. I got into the stock market now 18 years ago. There was market manipulation then, 
in every single day since then, there's been market manipulation in the stock market, now in crypto, in Forex, in ETFs, in, in bonds, in every market across planet Earth, there's market manipulation. So you shouldn't spend even one minute of your time worried about market manipulation. That is not the game we're playing here. The game we're playing is to buy Bitcoin at a low price and sell it for more than you bought it for. That's it. We're not playing the game of, oh my God, market manipulation. So take a deep breath. Let's stay even keel. Emotion is a money killer. And let's stay focused on the things that actually matter. So price action, you can see that we're below the 50 day moving average. On our previous video, we said that this would be normal. These two moves here are the two moves from 2014. It's not yet clear which formation we're in, whether we have bottomed or we are very close to bottoming, about to bottom. Remember, if you see anybody saying this in social media that we definitely have bottomed or definitely have not, they are full of BS, 100%, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no yet formations in the chart that give us clear cut evidence. However, we said, look, we're in one of these two moves, both of which rode up to the 50 day, rejected down to the fib level, rode up to the 50 day, rejected down to the fib level, and then both moved through the 50 day, both of them. Both of them moved through the 50 day, and both of them fell through the 50 day right after moving through the 50 day. So we said, guys, be ready for this. Don't be emotional if you see us fall through the 50 day. It's normal. It, it did it twice in both of these moves that we were watching. So we're below the 50 day. Are we concerned? No, we're not concerned. So we'll break it down on what this next major move is going to be. And then why are we going to be terrified? So with price action, you can see with the RSI what's happening, right? We've had this extreme level of support and resistance at about 43 here on the daily chart. You can see extreme resistance. Um, it was resistance back here, extreme support, resistance, resistance. It's played both rows and just, just in the past hour or two, we've been able to peek our head above this level. So that's a good sign for the short term. Now, stochastics, again, watch the stochastics. This always tells us what is happening in the short term. But I will tell you at the end of the video with Steve's secrets to success, we're gonna go over why you should never be a day trader or a swing trader. So if you are in crypto and you're like, oh, I'm really excited to be a day trader or a swing trader, and you have less than five years of market experience, um, I'm gonna paint a very honest picture of why you shouldn't bother doing that at all. And I'm gonna give you some alternatives which you should focus on, which will really help your confidence, really help your, your money, and help your family's retirement grow. And those are the things that are really important. So stochastics, we're trying to have a cross to the upside. If we do have a cross to the upside, especially a cross above the 20, things will be looking good in the short term. So we're gonna watch those levels. You can see the RSI, you see the stochastics, you see where we are. This uh, level here in the RSI, it should hold some resistance, right? You can see right now that we're gearing up for that. And by the way, this drop, if you remember three, four videos ago, so 15, 20 days ago, when we called out this FIB level, we said, watch this level as we go through these next moves. This could very well come back to hold as our base and hold support. And that's exactly what we've done here 15 or 20 days later. So are we surprised about what's happening? No, this is, this is how crypto moves. We're not surprised and it's not yet bad signs. We're going to get into it here in the next couple charts. So we understand that these moves and and in the last video we talked about how this hung out by the 50 day for 12 days. And you can see back here we held out by the 50 day for probably about three weeks. So the 50 day is going to be some some major action here 
in in the short term and then the medium term. Now, let's get to what's really important, our market structure. Have we broken market structure? No, we have not. And we're gonna talk about this next major move. If you watched my videos before, you probably have a pretty good idea what this move is because it hasn't yet happened and we have been planning for it. So look at the structure here. And then this is 2014, right? This is now we're on a weekly chart. So each candle represents a week of data. What I want you to notice is when we broke this market structure here, right? We had this market structure for, remember, it was 275 days, pretty much the exact same measurement we had in 2018, 280 days, almost the exact same time that we had this market structure. When did we break this market structure? It was the three-day death cross. It was the three-day death cross and we fell down. So back in 2014, we had the three-day death cross and we fell down and we got into a channel, okay? This is sideways market moving. This is not a trending market, trending up or trending down. This is a sideways action, right? So we had our bottom here. We went up to the form the top. We came back to the bottom and we went to the top. So bottom, top, bottom, top. Really simple. So this is the formation over the next weeks, okay? So if we look at what we have formed so far, we formed our bottom top. We know what's coming, right? We need to form some kind of a bottom and then we're gonna come back up and test this level. But let's get a little more specific. So we understand that we have formed our bottom. We got rejected by our top. We were trying to form a little bit of a higher top with that ascending triangle. But obviously the stochastics broke before the ascending triangle, which brought the ascending triangle down. Okay, so we have our top here at about 4,001, right? When we got rejected, you can see where we came to. And this is not by accident, guys. If you want to know what's going to happen in the future, look left. Always look left. And when you look left, you say, okay, we had this big red candle. We're falling down. And maybe we're in the middle of that candle. Ah, we're, we're falling down. We have the stochastic cross. Where could we fall to? Where, oh, where could the price fall to? If we look left, you see one week, two week, three week, four weeks of data tells us the level already. Look left, it's right here. We fell right to the level that we should have. You can see one candle, two candle, three candle, four candle. And we're holding that as firm support as we should, okay? Now, you can see that this move in 20... 14 when we formed bottom top and we formed our bottom did it quite touch the bottom okay that's good news for us if we want to hold that whatever it is 3005 3006 level we didn't quite touch here just like we haven't quite touched here can we go a little bit lower yes we're not concerned with these little market moves and by the way if you're so concerned with these little moves during the day or during tomorrow that's not the mindset that's the mindset of disaster that's the mindset of being in the sheep that's the mindset of being in the 90 to 95 percent of people that fail you don't want to have that mindset you want to have that clear vision of these bigger moves that are forming where we are going and i don't want you to be looking at your phone all day stressed out that's not the life you should live all right if if you if that really makes you happy by all means be stressed out looking at your phone all day but i highly doubt that's the life you want to live or the life your family wants you to live take a deep breath ignore the sheep ignore all the crap on social media Focus in on what's important. These bigger moves are what's important. So in the short term, we could see a little bit downside action if we break this 3,005. I will be concerned if we break 3,000 in the short term, meaning the next week or two. I'll be concerned if we break 3,000. Until then, I'm not concerned, all right? On the upside, this next move up could break this 4,001, but it's not gonna be by much. Not gonna be by much. We could go as high as 4,003, that level we've been talking about for a while, maybe to the top of this wick here, 4,004. But 
just look at the big picture. We're going to go to around 4,000 and we're going to have some problems. And that's where the terrifying move comes into play. All right. So we're going to talk about why the terrifying. The surprising part is most people are expecting us to really fall down past this level and really have a bloodbath. And, and, and there's a lot of emotion in the streets right now. But they're going to be surprised when we come back up and test this. And then they're going to get really excited. And then they're going to throw their money in. And then we're going to come crashing down, with, which is the terrifying part, which we'll get into in a minute. So that's in the big picture. That's what I want you to focus on. Not all the noise in the streets. Not all the sheep yelling about all these things that don't really matter. Take a deep breath. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing is out of the ordinary, which we've seen play out here. All right, so let's get into some other charts. I have a couple charts to show you that are really, really powerful. But first, here is a review from Stefan S. Stefan F. Stefan says, his classes are so simple and easy to understand with a high level of quality. After taking the first two or three trades, after taking his classes, I already made the money back I paid for the combo classes in just two weeks. One of the best investments you can make for yourself and for your family. Become more confident and comfortable with trading awesome classes. Stefan, thank you for the review. Keep up the great work. Guys, take full advantage. If you've been stressed out, you've been wondering if you should be buying, if you be, should be selling, when should you buy, position size, how much, how little, when should you sell, looking at your phone all day, stressed out. This is not the life you want to live. Make a change today. You deserve this change. Your family deserves this change. And your retirement deserves this change. Here's how to sign up. You're going to sign up to this combo if you've been in crypto around one year. It'll be the very first link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video right here. You're going to sign up to this combo class if you've been in crypto just a few months. It'll be the second link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video right here. Get a powerful strategy. Get incredible confidence and have less stress. You deserve that. Now, here's some good charts. We're going to break this down. I've showed you this. This um, is the total shorts, okay? Total shorts for Bitcoin. Very, very, very important because we're getting to a critical level. What do I mean by that? We've talked about it. This has been a trend we've been forming since March. You can see our trend line here. Consistently forming higher higher lows, okay? Consistently forming higher lows. These two moves we're going to get into. Now, when we form our lows here, which we did back on July 30th and we did on November 12th, when we are low, meaning there's not a lot of humans shorting Bitcoin. In fact, there's almost none. When there's almost none, guess where the price goes? Down. And again, you may say, Steve, I don't get it. If if nobody is shorting, shouldn't price go up? No. Remember, 90 to 95 percent of humans will lose money in crypto. It's not my opinion. It's facts. And take a look at this. When when shorts are low, price goes down. Let me show you how. This is July 30th, right? This is a weekly chart, July 30th. We're going to go on the daily chart and see what what did July 30th look like because the shorts were low, right? Shorts were low July 30th. What happened to the price of Bitcoin? If we go to this arrow here, this is July 30th right here. Look at that. Fascinating. This is what this channel is about. We're keeping crypto simple. Every video you learn something and you get better at crypto. Okay, look at this. July 30th when people were so exuberant about the price of Bitcoin. It's going to the moon. We've got the ETF coming. We've got Bach coming. It's after Chinese New Year. We've got the whales are, are sleeping. Market manipulation no more. We're going back to the moon. This is the bull rally we've all been waiting for. That's what everybody was shouting. Look at what happened. Shorts were really low. Nobody was shorting Bitcoin. Everyone was so bullish. 
But look what happened. We got rejected by the 200 day and we fell off a cliff. And by the way, in the past few days, y'all were, were, were really emotional about a couple hundred dollar drop in Bitcoin. This is just a sidetrack, but a powerful lesson. You guys were, were nervous. You guys were beyond nervous. It, was, it, it sounded in the comments like people were dying in the streets with a couple hundred dollar drop of Bitcoin. Let me zoom out and remind you of the big picture. Bitcoin, from its peak down here, has fallen $16,775. Let me repeat that. Bitcoin has fallen $16,775. $775. If you are worried about a couple hundred dollar drop in Bitcoin, maybe crypto is not for you. All right. That's the thinking of the sheep. Again, throw the sheep in the garbage. Be in your own lane, doing your own thing, focused on your own mind, because that's going to bring you success. If you listen to the sheep, you're going to be buying up here because they say it's going to the moon. All right. And by the way, we covered this move we covered this big rally and we were spot on with this enormous rally and we we cautioned near the top because guys it's very clear if you look at crypto through a simple lens simple ta stay even keel stay emotionless you guys could make some incredible profits so back to this chart we know that july 30th what happened shorts were low where did price go down. How about here? How about this candle? This candle is November 12th. Steve, what happened on November 12th? Did it also go down or or did it go against the grain and, and, and price went up? Let's take a look. November 12th was that bar. Let's find the exact day. November 12th, right here. Take a look at this. This is not a coincidence. Shorts were low. Nobody was shorting Bitcoin. Everyone was bullish. People thought 6K was going to hold in so many videos. Oh my God, Steve, you keep saying Bitcoin's going to fall below 6K. No way. You're crazy. This, this mark, we've got market manipulation. We've got the whales. We've got the ETFs, the ETFs. We're going on a bull run. What do you mean drop below 6K? Well, shorts were really low. We had a three day death cross at the same time and we fell off a cliff. Why do I tell you this? Look at where we're coming to guys. In the next, maybe next week or two or three, we're going to be down here on this trend line and we're going to cover it. So if you want to stay up to date, hit that subscribe button right now so we can keep you up to date when the market is going to turn. You want to be ahead of the curve. Remember, I told you terrifying information is coming. It's going to be a very stressful situation. It's going to be really intense but we're going to be ready for it. We've been planning for it. So hit that subscribe button right now to stay up to date on the most important information without all the BS, with all the paid advertisements and throwing ICOs and coins at you. My words are not paid for and will never, ever be paid for on this channel. All my words are my opinions. I am not bought. So we're going to be watching this very, very closely. We're not yet there, but we're getting close. And when we are, we know what's going to happen. Let me show you another thing that really paints a clear picture. This is the weekly chart. Remember the BLX. This is eight years of data, eight years of Bitcoin price right in front of you on one beautiful chart. Boy, do I love this chart. This is a really a phenomenal chart. Take a look at these formations. We're going to take a look at the RSI first. Watch this. We had these lows forming here, right? This and then this are these two moves. These two moves that we keep talking about. These are the two right here. Number one, number two. Watch the RSI. RSI finally broke below this level right here on the weekly chart. That's critical. When we're in a true bear market, in the bottom of a bear market, we're down below this level. So are we near the bottom of a bear market? 100% yes. We should be very excited. And by the way, give yourself a pat on the back. You really deserve it. You're in crypto. Most of the humans ran for the hills. They're so afraid of crypto because it's really volatile and really crazy. But guess what? We're near a bottom and this is where the real 
people are going to make serious, serious money for the next couple years, not in the next couple minutes. Oh my God, Steve, Bitcoin went up $27 yesterday. What am I going to do? Bitcoin fell $37 the next day. Oh my God, I'm going to... No, we don't have that mindset. Let the sheep be the sheep. We're here in crypto for the right reasons. Give yourself a pat on the back that you didn't run for the hills. You see the opportunity. The opportunity is right around the corner. We're very close. Let me show you how close. You can see we fell below this level. We managed to just barely get above it and then we made that true capitulation, right? This is what may be coming and this is why it may be terrifying. And here's another reason why this move could be a little bit bigger move coming up the stochastics rsi the holy grail of what is going to happen next in bitcoin remember we talked about here on the daily chart when you see a stochastics cross it is serious make no mistake about it and this is the daily chart but on the weekly chart it's a lot more serious than the daily chart when you see a cross on the weekly chart it means business let me show you Back here, we had a weekly cross on December 11th. Hmm. Was it significant? A weekly cross on December 11th? Um, yeah, I would say so. I would say pretty significant. Probably the most significant in the history of Bitcoin. How about the next cross, weekly cross down on the stochastic? Was that significant? May 7th? Hmm. I would say pretty significant. It pretty much marked the major moves of crypto these are market moves not just bitcoin moves this means uh altcoins are on a landslide right this means the entire market is shifting the weekly cross on those stochastics is very significant and we're getting close is it going to happen tomorrow the next day no we don't care what happens tomorrow or the next day we want to keep our big picture prospect to stay even keel and to know what's coming it's pretty much the same as here when we show you we're getting close here we're getting close here and we're getting close to a stochastics cross all right in the meantime we we should be testing these levels remember we went down up down up here present day we went down up down what's left we should be testing this level before the terrifying information comes, okay? And there'll be something in the news like, oh my God, the whales and market manipulation and an ETF denial, ETF postponed, ETF blah, 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 blah. It's all the same, guys. All the information is always inside the charts. Don't listen to the news. It's just meant to provide you emotion. Emotion is a money killer. We're smarter than that. The sheeps are not. You are smarter than that. So we should be able to see us test this over the next week to two weeks, right? Maybe three weeks, but we're going to test this level. We're going to get rejected and then things are going to get very interesting, but we're ready for it. Okay. We're going to keep a close eye on the stochastic cross. We're going to keep a close eye on the Bitcoin shorts and we're really going to pay a close attention to our 200 week moving average right now i think you see this in a lot of videos we we were pretty early to the punch here right same as the comparison 2014 to 2018 now everyone talks about it we talked about it before it was cool to talk about it we're going to continue to talk about things that are not cool to talk about but they probably will be later so these are the things i want you to really pay attention to very important in the big picture now let's get to my favorite part of the video before we do that I want to read you a comment a recent comment on a recent YouTube this is coming in from from Larkin R Larkin quote I just finished his classes and wow I can tell you that his classes are amazing and the process is simple you learn to control your emotion you learn to see the big picture. You know that you're not missing out on the future moves. You know when to make the move. You know when to buy. You know when to sell. Guys, control that emotion. 
These classes are simple, easy to follow, and incredibly powerful. You're gonna get so much confidence, and finally, you're gonna know exactly when to buy and when to sell. You're gonna be able to look at the chart and see it so clearly. You're gonna be so proud of yourself. Your family's gonna be proud of you. Your friends are gonna be proud of you, and they're gonna be really impressed. You are going to be dominating. This is really close to the bottom of the bear market, the best time to learn is now. Take full advantage of this. You're gonna sign up to this combo class if you've been in crypto around one year. It'll be the very first link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video right here. And right now, save 200. Take full advantage of this incredible opportunity here in front of you. You're gonna sign up to this combo class if you've been in crypto just a few months. It'll be the second link right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video right here. Get a powerful strategy, get incredible confidence, and have less stress. Stop looking at your phone all through the day. You don't need that stress. Your family doesn't need that stress. Now, guys, scroll down right now. Scroll down on the video. If you're watching on the phone, scroll down. If you're watching on the computer, scroll down. If you see a red button here, that's a problem. You don't want red in crypto. Hit that subscribe button right now. Get rid of that red and, and hit that bell. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button right now. By the way, 11, 11 consecutive videos of 30,000 views. Our channel is exploding and it's not because of me. It's because of you. I truly, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you, really do. You coming in, you're giving thumbs up right away. Positivity in the comments. Positivity inspires positivity. We're creating such a powerful community in, in here, in YouTube. And it's not because of me, it's all thanks to you. But 11 consecutive videos over 30,000 views, that's downright impressive. And really, thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, our, our Twitter channel blowing up. Go head over there right now at Crypto Crew U. Go over there and subscribe. And right now, share this video somewhere. Share it on Twitter. Share it on, share it on Facebook. Share it on Telegram. Share it on Reddit. Share it with your neighbor, Joe. Share it with your dog. Share it with somebody to spread that positivity, spread that love, and spread that simplicity that crypto shouldn't be so emotional. It doesn't need to be, and it shouldn't be. So spread that message. Now, I have some very, very powerful things to share with you guys, but first, my students. Ears up, students. I wanna do a bonus class for you guys before my son is born. So let me know in the comments right now what bonus class is interesting to you, what topic is interesting to you. I wanna pick the most powerful topic and do an incredibly power, powerful bonus class just for my students. So comment down below about that. Now, Steve's secrets to success. I have three for you today. It's very powerful. I hope you're taking notes because these, these these pieces of information are gonna pay huge dividends for the rest of your life with investing. Number one, I don't even know why I have to say this. I thought it was very obvious, but this channel is focused on learning. This channel is focused on inspiring. This channel is focused on getting rid of that emotion. This channel is not whatsoever me telling you when to buy or when to sell. So why the hell are you trying to buy and sell with these videos? That is a recipe for disaster. You're gonna be caught with your pants down because you're guessing. I have never in any video said, oh, I am making a position here. Here's my stop losses. Here's my position size. Here is my strategy. Never ever in any video I've ever made. So why are you trying to guess and buy for yourself and try to time the market like that. That is not a strategy. You're going to be in the 90 to 95% of people that fail doing that. Don't ever do that with my videos or any videos. You need to have a strategy and that's what my classes are for. That's why my classes are so successful because that is where I tell you exactly how to set up your strategy 
to be successful, to be very successful, to get rid of that emotion. So please be smart. Don't be a sheep. You should never, ever, ever under any circumstance buy and sell based on my videos. My videos are all about learning and teaching, inspiring and getting rid of emotion and keeping it simple. That's it. That's it. So that was number one. Number two, more powerful. It, you should you should not be a swing trader. You should not be a day trader. Why, Steve, why do you say that? If you have five years experience day trading successfully in other markets, yes, you should day trade here. But that's a big if. And all day traders around the world will agree a thousand percent. Day trading will eat you alive. You'll be caught with your pants down every day day you're going to make the same mistake over and over and over and over again you're going to be in such a deep hole you're going to look at your portfolio and be like what the hell happened i want to protect you i don't want to see you caught with your pants down i want to see you grow your family's retirement i would hate to see it destroyed it will be destroyed with day trading and you better believe it will be destroyed with swing trading unless you have three years if you have three years market experience successfully swing trading in other markets yes jump into crypto you'll hit the ground running if you don't have three years experience you're gonna get destroyed and by the way let me show you day trading won't capture these big moves also a lot of people have a huge misconception about swing trading oh swing trading will capture these big move no it won't swing trading is short term guys a few days to maximum a week is a swing trade if you keep hearing oh swing traders are making all this money all this money this bs this bs swing trading is not designed to really take advantage of crypto it's not i'm here to tell you the truth because a lot of humans won't i'm here to tell you the truth look at these market moves do you think a swing trader would have captured this market move hell no it's too long of a move i developed a hybrid trading strategy which is in between swing trader and investor investor a lot of people have misconceptions about this investors hold for years that means investors would have missed all of these market moves these long-term investors which investing is still better than swing trading if you're relatively new less than a few years into trading you should be an investor but honestly i developed the hybrid trading strategy which really tries to tailor the moves of crypto the natural swings of crypto i tailor made a strategy for what does that mean we try to buy down here we try to sell up here in a bear market and also a bull market my strategy will get you to buy somewhere down here are we going to time the exact bottom that's not the point are we going to time the exact top that's not the point the point is we want to be buying down here and we want to be selling up here and we want to be buying down these are the natural moves of crypto they they're the same moves for eight years all right there's no secret here but i tailor made a strategy for you to really maximize your money without the stress you don't need to sit in front of a chart all day and you should not day trade or swing trade unless you have a ton of experience do i teach how to day trade and swing trade in my classes yes but i say it probably a, a thousand times that you shouldn't do either i make it very clear i teach you the skills i say you you shouldn't do this unless x y or z and here are the options you should focus on if you're new otherwise you're going to destroy your retirement that's not your goal to destroy your retirement you want to have your money grow oh the last point is really powerful so i want to make a pact with you everybody that's watching right now we have so many similarities so many similarities you are a glass half full person and let's face it controlling your emotion is really difficult i want to make a pact i want to make a pact that right now you are agreeing to help control your emotion through 2019 not only are you going to do that you're going to help control the emotion of people in the comments whether it's on twitter or here and together as a community we're going to build something so special imagine everybody watching right now is going to help each other control emotions through all these really 
turbulent times of crypto. Then we're creating a, a community unlike anything else on the internet. We're actually helping each other rather than spreading all this negativity and all this turmoil and getting people anxious. I want to make that pack today. Let me see in the comments who is with me. I want us to help each other control our emotions. We're going to be following up in every video and doing an update on these topics because that's the number one thing. If you really want to be successful in investing, not just crypto, investing, you have to be able to control your emotion. You have to. You have to. It's the most difficult thing to do. Otherwise, wouldn't everybody be successful? So let's make a pact. We're going to help each other. Last but not least, the scammers. Unfortunately, we have to talk about them. Um, we caught all the scammers that were selling my fake classes. They're all dead. But there's always new scammers because when you achieve success, all the scammers will be coming after you. They'll be coming forever. The new one is on Instagram. They have my face, they have some fake profile, and they ask you to download some software so they can steal your wallet information. Guys, I'll make it clear. I will never, ever send you any message of downloading anything for any reason. The only thing I'll ever send you is to go to my website. It's the only place to get the classes. The rest of it is scams. If they have my face, look at the followers. On Instagram, we have like 24,000. On Twitter, we have 10,000. If you see anything but those numbers, it's not me. Don't ever download anything. Don't ever pay somebody for my classes that are not on the website. You will be scammed. And by the way, this will continue forever because we have the number one crypto classes. But there's only one place that you get it, CryptoCrewUniversity.com. That's it. And on these social medias, this is me, 10,000. If you see somebody with 100 followers trying to scam you, it's not, I don't have other profiles. It's this, Instagram, and, uh, and YouTube. That's it, and, and Facebook. So, guys, be smart. There's a lot of scammers, dirty scammers out there, and unfortunately, that's the world we live in. But throw those people in the garbage. We don't need them. They're just like, they're worse than the sheep. They're like the, the crap that covers the sheep. If you've ever seen sheep in real life, a lot of them are covered in their own poop. That's what the scammers are. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. This has been a jam-packed video. Tons of learning, and you better believe we're going to be keeping you updated with the Stochastic Cross on the weekly, with the Bitcoin shorts. We're getting close to... Um, a terrifying scenario, but rest assured, we have a powerful community and we're going to help each other control that emotion. We're doing it differently. We are creating change in crypto. We're keeping it simple and helping each other, something that you don't see. So have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you right back here on the next video. Peace and love to the crypto crew.